Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival Reforged Eden. My name is Spanch. Welcome back to Oscatoon. We're home. We're back at base today. I want to do some uh, general pottering around and fanning about the base today. Um, I know, not particularly exciting and stuff, but who knows? We might get things done soon enough that we can go and troll some Xerax around here or something. I don't know. And it, it, essentially, what we, obviously we brought back some goodies, uh, some resources from our last episode lots and lots of materials and uh, stuff like that of course it is and um well i want to sort of try and smelt that down as best as possible which means i need to add some furnaces to this base um i want to expand the garden because obviously we've got a nine pot grow plot thingy majiggy going on in here i want to sort of at least double that hopefully maybe even triple that into something where we can actually start producing uh, a decent amount of meds from it uh, as well as everything else of course and um yeah, I'm going to need to expand the base. I think he's going for that guy over there, which sucks because this base attack is for me. Oh, I tell you what, it is actually quite severe today. Two troop transports. Let's actually get the Mirage up and running here because uh, we might need... Although saying that, as uh, as the first transport drops down... And the second one dies as well. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, eh? Okay, well, there we go. The base attack is over. Two, I think, I think that was probably the most severe one so far. Two troop transports and uh, and a bomber as well. That's um, that's more than more than before. Anyway, so there we go. I think we got a friend over there is off to try and pick up some of the bits and pieces or something. Anyway, yeah. So that's what I want to try and do today. I'm not sure why there are no LCDs on this. This why are the LEDs not showing up? The battery is at full, that's why. There's they're not collecting any energy at the moment because they don't need to. This is fantastic. My little sponge gnome is fully charged and ready. Wonderful stuff. Uh obviously I have three the landing pad for the C V here, the landing pad for the S V and the little little garage, I suppose you could call it, for the HV here. I think I want to try and keep them as they are. Um I'm just trying to think planning wise where to place things. I think the only direction I can go is out to the water because uh, otherwise I'll have to replace all these solar panels I'll have to deal with the terrain at least if I go out towards the water it's all flat I'll just need support uh, pillars and stuff like that so okay let's um let's do some bits and bobs first of all uh, because I brought back uh, with me um, a lot of concrete oh look at this look at this it's good isn't it okay let me just pop all this stuff into various boxes and whatnot uh, and then, because I brought back with me some uh, a auto miner core, I should say a auto miner core, so we could at least get an auto miner on that nearby. Hey, look, that Promethean deposit respawned. Nice. Well, I'll put it on the medium one anyway, because the medium one obviously gives uh, a better yield overall. I think um, I'll have to be careful because on Monday, which is uh, well, obviously yesterday when this video comes out, that deposit will reset. So I need to take it off again, but I'll at least be able to show you guys um, what auto miners are all about, basically. So you can unlock them from the misc tree. There's three types of them. Don't bother with anything but the the, the, the tier three, to be honest, the advanced one. <laughs> Waste of time. Uh, they require an auto miner core to build and lots of other stuff. Right. While that's building, um, I was going to say I could actually get the small constructors working on a lot of the ores and stuff but actually do you know what I'm just going to leave that until we have the furnace you guys are mentioning in the comments as well that the scrap metal that I've been picking up from various loot sources and stuff that needs to go into a furnace as well so the furnace that we're going to place is going to have a lot of work to do so let's get a furnace uh, at least one I think I don't I could put two down but I think that will just burn through the batteries too quickly so I'm just going to leave it at one uh, in the meantime, while that's building, I can get the small constructors outside here working on a lot of the crushed stone that we brought home over a stack. If I connect to this, split that into two stacks of 4,000, pop those into my portables at the front here, and just get them building like a 1,000 concrete blocks. Concrete is pretty expensive, so I don't expect them to make a 1,000. Control-Shift will queue up a 1,000. Control will queue up uh, 100 and I think shift will go up just 10. <sighs> Garden sponge, love it. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
Uh, so, yes. <laughs> we should have, in a little while, uh, lots and lots of concrete blocks that we can expand and build our base with. Now then, that, uh, yeah, that, that, that's now done. So we can turn you off briefly. Oh my god. Bill! Bill, you're just running around. What are you doing? You're on the furniture and everything, man. You're you crazy boy. You're just a crazy boy. Okay, so, um, blocks of devices. That's where, let's put it in the mirage. I think it's got enough lift to deal with that. And we're going to need some fuel. There we go, 66 fusion cells. Uh, fuel to fuel the auto miner with. And then we need to go to the deposit. So, let's grab the mirage. The mirage mirage. And we're going to go to the deposit. Pop an auto mine on it. Now, obviously, like I said, I need to remember to take that auto miner off of it before Monday. And the uh, deposit resets. Because if it resets while that auto miner is on it, it will be deleted. That is an unfortunate side effect of the deposits reset mechanic on a multiplayer server. Now, obviously, on single player, these deposits don't they don't reset at all. They just once they're gone, they're gone. Um, but uh, obviously, with multiplayer, there's lots of people on the same playfield, so resetting deposits is kind of the only way to really make sure that a planet doesn't run out of resources. Anyway, oh look, raptors! Yay! Get off me! What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? You want a biscuit? Eat plasma instead. Take that. So, auto miner and the fuel into your backpack. Place the auto miner over the deposit and then chuck a bunch of fuel in it and off it trots. Now, that will give me source quality is 41%, so it's going to give me 84 Promethean an hour. Um, so I can just leave that running now. And like I said, as long as I don't forget to take pick it up again before Monday, um, I'll have lots of Promethean to pick up later. Lovely. Okay. So I'm uh, going to leave it to leave it a little while for the concrete blocks to build, so that we can actually expand the base a little bit. Um, in the meantime, I think I might get the color and texture tool out and do a bit of painting inside my base here to make it a little nicer. Um, but yeah, this this whole sort of where I've got the deconstructor in that box there, that's all going to come out. I'm going to have to move my water generators. The production area I want to bring out as well. I do also want to think about storage, some more storage. So I might see if I can build another container controller and a bunch of extensions and get another 320 KSU box somewhere. I'm thinking maybe under the SV landing pad there, uh, the, X, the CV landing pad, but we'll see. Okay. When those blocks are ready, um, I will be back. Oh, Kidogi, I think potentially 300 and something or other blocks there. Oh my god, it's too much for the container to fit. Oh, it is only a 16k container after all. Uh, well, good news is I just put down a brand new container controller. Okay, it's not 320,000 just yet, but uh, it's getting there, it's getting there. Uh, okay, so let me just put them in there instead, and I will connect to that uh, rather than this little beast here. Um, so I'll move that over there as well because I want to place that and the furnace okay so that is this container controller here I haven't named it yet but it's probably going to be the new blocks and devices container because well we're going to have lots of concrete sitting there aren't we so there's another 370 or so blocks or whatever and uh, yeah I think that's enough to get started on the modifications I want to make to the base we're going to raise these towers up as well and I'm starting to think maybe I'll replace uh, start increasing the firepower of this base so it encompasses missile launchers as well. After all, we do now have the resources to actually build those buggers, so why the hell not, right? Uh, right, hopefully that's 320 KSU on this one. It is, thank you very much. Lovely, so we have two 320 KSU containers. This is good news. Um, cheeky bit of texturing over here to cover up the, the fact that they are just... Actually, on these ones, I put little, light, thin, slopey blocks. We could just do that all the way along. And then that way it's uniform, I suppose. But yeah, uh, so that's that's a little extra storage in the base. Um, I know I said I was going to put something under the pad, but, you know, I had this space at the back here as well. Uh, so I just thought I'd use that. Okay. So two 320 KSU containers should be enough to keep me going for a little while. I'm also considering, uh, like, an ores box. Maybe the uh, current blocks and devices box can become an, a furnace box. Anyway, what I do want to do now is build this out to the front 
I've got to be careful here because if um No, go back in. Go back in, Bill. Don't come don't come this way. Don't come this way. Ooh. Ooh, I know you wanted to escape. Look at him. He's trying to get the hell out of my base. No, Bill. No. You have to stay in there. That is your job. Uh yes, you are a prisoner. <laughs> I suppose you are. You are just a prisoner. Sorry. Um, but you're a prisoner with a gun, so you're not technically not a prisoner, and you know, you're getting paid in food. So what do you want? Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is where I want the furnace to be. So <laughs> okay, it's a nice, nice bigger sort of room. But I think what I'm going to have to do is build the walls to this place uh, before I can and uh, open it up. You know, because otherwise Bill's just going to do another runner. Ah! Uh, okay. So, I don't really have any kind of ideas of what I want, but I do want some nice panoramic views uh, of the lake, like I have already, but maybe in a, a a bigger sort of capacity, because I think if um, I rearrange this, then the deconstructor needs to come out of there anyway, because we're going to move the garden there. So maybe I can put the deconstructor and the furnace along the side here, and just try and figure out a way to not get absolutely burnt to a, a crisp on the furnace. There's enough room here for me to have a proper little go at this and make sure that uh, everything kind of fits nicely. But yes, I do want a nice big window at the end here. Uh, so maybe what I'll do actually is build, we can get through this little gap, um, some of the heavy glass blocks because they're just nicer. They're just nicer. So we get like 10 of those. I could get the heavy ones, the patterned ones. I wish they were all the same block. That sucks that they're separate blocks, but whatever. Um, it's nice that we've got them in the first place, I guess. I'm just going to go with the standard heavy windows for now, though. Um, and try not to do something a little bit outlandish. Uh, okay, so that's going actually into the blocks of devices, so that needs to come into there, but I'll wait until they finished. Oh, just pointless. Okay, so, yeah, nice sort of window at the front here. There he goes. Um, furnace down this side I think it's such a big machine though so I think it's probably going to have to come down here just so I have some room to step around it and build around it uh, and then this area here is going to be deconstructors and constructors and stuff okay this box is now empty deconstructor can turn off we can get rid of that and that I have to be careful here because I don't want Bill to escape Bill can you go over there please pretty please like now yeah no stop crouching stop okay I know I can't crouch but it's really mean that you would rub that in my face All right I'm very happy for you that you can crouch but can you please get out of the way thank you You're very kind very kind thank you appreciate it okay yeah less of the sort of crouch yeah you don't need to rub that in my face thanks mate anyway right so I can get rid of this stuff now and this can be where our garden area expands out into later okay so i think that's pretty much what i want to do to the base i'm going to need to create some more grow plots but i think i have the nutrient solution and stuff to do that so let's see if we can get them on now then uh we need grow plots please and i've been building wood ones i think actually i think they're wood they're just wood ones Hydroponics unit wood, yeah. Um, but actually, wood's kind of a pain in the ass to get. Whereas crushed stone is now quite easy. Now that we're mining asteroids, it comes um, quite easily. So I'm going to get just concrete ones, um, and that will be fine. So we'll get another nine to start off with, and then if we need more than that, I can just build more than that. But yeah, that's it. Okay, so um, I'll put the windows at the front there, and then I can take this wall down. Bill will be free to explore a slightly bigger room, and um, the the sun is setting. So I'm going to cut the video here, and. Uh, I'll show you what I come up with. Well, uh, I may have gone... I may have got a little bit carried away. May have gone a little bit carried away. I apologise. Uh, right. I don't, I don't want to... Sh it's difficult with, with building stuff. I mean, this is why I do my live streams on Saturday. Chilling the building. Uh, because basically I do the sort of the live, uncut, unfiltered building in that. But for sort of episodes on YouTube, building is really difficult to make any kind of content out of in a, in a sort of interesting way, in my opinion. I know, it's just a bit difficult, uh, because a lot of it is basically me just going, um, hmm, maybe this, no, that doesn't work, 
Uh, maybe that. No, that doesn't work. Ooh. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, I forgot this. Let's go back and build that. So I, I'm honestly, I do cut it out. So I know a lot of you say, oh, no, we don't want you to cut it out. We want to see the building process. Uh, trust me, you don't. It's duller than paint drying. Uh, but anyway, here we go. I will show you the end result of my umming and ahhing and general fannying about with the blocks. The garden is uh, more than doubled in size now, so we definitely got some more plots to play with. I need to do some texturing in here, is the only thing. It is dull. However, uh, I have done some texturing in the other parts of the base. I've even added some signal logic and lighting and stuff, so that when we go around, uh, the lights, we have lights to turn on. Uh, so I moved the deconstructor and constructor around, like I said, and I've done some weird kind of structure thing around the furnace here, which is done. It's, it's actually done. Look at the, look at the Neo we've got. 7,000. <laughs> you remember when we were trying to scrape just a few dozen Neo together for the for the CV? Now there is 7,000 of the stuff in this box, which is fantastic. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so that furnace can turn off now. Uh, it has done its job because um, I've been busy obviously making large panoramic windows like that where you can see Delta 1 the Delta One rise and set on this planet is, of course, nighttime. It is, of course, nighttime, but uh, it actually worked out to my benefit because I get to show you that glorious, wonderful view. I've even made a bench. I can now sit here and just look at the weird, I don't know what that kind of shading is going on in the glass there. That's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> but otherwise, I can enjoy the view. It's, it's lovely. Very nice. Anyway, first furnace is sunk as well into uh, water. You can just make it out. That is the water layer that it's sunk into. So, uh, my furnace is water cooled. I'm not sure why you'd want to cool a furnace, but it is anyway. Uh, that's no different. Why am I going in there? That's uh, pretty much all the changes inside anyway. And then outside, a little bit more texture. Uh, let me let me fly the drone. It might be easier. A little bit more texture on the outside. I haven't finished yet. I've got a little bit more. Well, a lot more texturing to do. It's just. Uh, Sort of running out of time and stuff and um yeah i put some sort of glowies on on the the landing pad for the cv raise these gats up so that they can shoot over the top of the base at any angle now um and i've got a walkway out of the garden room over to the landing pad plus an extra ramp down into the water there for of a vessel exfil refill all that jazz side door out in the garden as well into this area which will probably be where I maybe if I do need to expand this base anymore will expand it into uh, so there we go ladies and gents I have done stuff um, what's my fault it's your fault Val has updated the Val who's Val okay somebody's updated the Dion which is about bloody time frankly because <laughs> it was diabolically bad but I'm glad it's my fault that they've updated the Dion <laughs> Is it needed updating? I'll take that. Big win on my part. So I've got lots to do still. I need to make some seeds. We need um, aloe vera things because the herbal leaves only give one. The aloe vera plants give two. So I need some more herbal leaves, some more mushrooms, uh, and various bits and bobs in between. I filled these plots up so that we're actually maximizing our food and medicine production. Um, I need to also get this guy working on fusion cells now because we can we can make fusion cells and i want i want to be making fusion cells but we have a little bit of promethean um in the form of 1800 of it there but don't forget we obviously put a um we, we put an auto miner down I just noticed as well our furnace box is there which is great but look at this hunk of titanium that hasn't been melted down, or that bit of salvage that hasn't been melted out, or that aluminium that hasn't been melted down. Slacking. Absolutely slacking, Mr. Furnace person, dude, person, dude. Um, so you can turn back on and get back to work, sunshine. Thank you very much. Magnesium powder, obviously, we can't do anything about, but what we can do with mag come on, with magnesium powder is convert it here. We just get these guys working on that. And then we'll get rid of all that magnesium ore. We'll just have a bunch of magnesium powder sitting around. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, constructors. Everything is kind of working right now. We've got the furnace doing furnace things. The constructors doing constructory things. Let's get some seed planning, 
I think, is what we need. This <laughs> seed planning. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Ooh, we do some seed planning. Okay. Seeds, then. Well, um, aloe vera, for one. I want a good few of those. Good few of mushrooms. Um, fiber, actually. I haven't got any fly. Is it worth making fiber? I don't think it is, because I can just go and get some more, like, a bucket ton of trees. So I'm going to skip the fiber ones. Uh, but if I can get, say, spice, uh, pumpkins... Yeah, um, I need basically natural sweetener, spice, pumpkins, and um, I think that's it, actually. In order to make the ration packs and things like that. So I need, well, what are we out of? What's it going to be? Nutrient solution is what I need. Uh, but we have 36 there, so if I pop that, no, that in there, we can make more seeds. Wonderful. Okay, so that's where we are. That's what I just need to do. So give me a second, and I will transform this garden into an Eden. Voila! Just like that. No problem. There was absolutely no time whatsoever between the last cut and this one. Uh, totally legitimate. No, it's fine. Okay, so I, I haven't plant the, planted them in any kind of scientifically mathematical way. I've just gone, bleh, there's some seeds. So you see if this works. But uh, I've got some aloe vera, some mushrooms in there. Uh, plenty of vegetables and spice and all the other bits and bobs that we need in order to create um, ration packs. I may need some more natural sweetener. Actually, looking at the uh, looking at the setup here, natural sweetener. Uh, yeah, may need a few more of those, and um, which I can probably take out and then the mushrooms or something in, in order to do that. But uh, yeah, this will be fine for the time being. We have. Um, we have a decent garden now, ladies and gents. I also did a little bit of texturing in here as well. So it looks a little less kind of like, you know, concrete jungle. Um, so there we go. Now, so the next mission is um, to... Uh, Bill, how did you get yourself down there? Did you fall off the side of the stairs? I can't think of any... Oh, yeah. No, you can get out. You're just choosing not to. That's your corner, is it? Okay, you're just going to sit there. Because you're supposed to be patrolling the entire base. Don't look at the gun, look at me. You're supposed to be patrolling the entire base. Yeah, well. Some... I, I paid good money for you, Bill. Bastard. Anyway, what was I going to say? I can't remember, I've lost track. Uh, this guy's still working away on fusion cells. We do need to go back um, and check out our auto miner. But before we do that, one of the ships that has won the Category 4 Utility SV is the RASP. RE-L20 by WDC Knight. Congratulations, WDC Knight. This thing looks um, serious. However, upon viewing its requirements here in the uh, <laughs> in the thing, small system upgrade kit. Now, everything else in here, I think we can probably manage. I Maybe we haven't got enough uh, of... Well, we're going to probably need some more copper, iron and silicon and, and, and all that stuff. But um, yeah, everything else is fine. 50. 56 small electronic bridges, 20 small electronic matrix kitchens. Um, so yeah, this is um, wow. Okay, so this is basically going to be the. Uh, I mean, it's serious. Look at it. Look at it. It's just insane. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be our main mining machine, that's sort of down on planet deposits and things like that when we get out there. But I just wanted to show you guys the rasp. I'll put a link again in the video description down below. Um, that's going to be our mining SV. And that's going to replace a hover vessel. However, I, I think we're going to we're a little ways off because this thing is freaking advanced. I mean, it has got something like twelve laser drills and eight industrial multi tools as well, so it can both mine deposits and salvage entire POIs just like by jamming some lasers at it. It's it's a cool machine, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Um, but I suspect what we're going to need is we're going to need to take more and more POIs uh, from the Zraxian scumbags in order to kind of, I don't know, fund, fund that exercise. Um, I don't really have the firepower at the moment to go for uh, some of the bigger Xerax POIs. So until we can get the materials for the RASP, we will be looking into a combat capable SV. I know, very SV heavy this, uh, this Let's Play going to be. We're going to be looking at this far interceptor also by WDC Knight. Congratulations on winning two in a row, Knight. Uh, very, very well done. This actually thing I've actually raced against in one of the death races. This thing uh, can take an absolute beating. 
this is much more achievable in the short term. We're going to see if we can bring this in um, and have a little poke at some of the bigger Xerax establishments here on Oscatoon in particular. This long range radar base over here has a number of POIs dotted around it. Um, not to mention, obviously, these deposits and stuff, which would be, you know, nice to dig up, I suppose. Um, but yeah, let's see. We need 6,858 carbon substrates. A good two grand of iron, copper, and silicon. Uh, some cobalt, titanium, neo, and small optronic. So. Input, we have six small optronic bridges. So we could probably make some more because we have the gold and we have all sorts of like, you know, thousands of electronics and crystals what else that we can eat into. What are we lowest on is the copper, I would say, at 928. Um, iron, copper, silicon, the classic three. We're going to have to go out and get some more of that, I suspect. But let's see what we can do. Uh, first of all, and I'm going to need to set these guys off making some more common substrate. Uh, so that we can get up to the 6,000 or so that we need. Um, and then we can see what else we can fit into there. Now, I'm just going to connect to this. And we're going to basically just chuck things in there until it can't take them anymore. For the bridges, uh, I'm going to have to interrupt this. My only constructor that can do them. So, uh, we've got 400 fusion cells so far. That's actually really good. Uh, small bridges, we've got 6, I need 10. So if you can make 10 of those, um, that will give us the 16 that we need for that. Okay, uh, we've got the titanium in here already. Uh, Going to need to chuck a little bit more cobalt, but cobalt, uh, silicon, the rest of that in there. The carbon substrate is coming along. We should have this thing in soon. Uh, we should have this thing in this episode. I'm just, uh, I'm conscious, like, I, I'm, I'm running low on all things, basically. Even though, well, apart from magnesium, look at this. Freaking two and a bit stacks of magnesium. Happy days, right? Uh, <laughs> Sathium is also pretty good. Um, wait, what happened to the other Sathium that I mined? Did I not cook that? Did I not transfer that from something? Oh. No. Oh, I don't know what's happened to that. I, maybe it's still in the hover vessel. Damn it, I can't get to it. I don't think it has a Wi-Fi in it. Um, okay, so there we, yeah, we got some Sathium as well, didn't we? So we're going to try and track that down. Um, but yeah, basically, we just need to chuck as much of the resources we can into the into the factory, get that SV in, and then hopefully we can just do POIs pretty casually and get the resources from. My other options, of course, is to just redo the bunker and the depot over and over again. Um, where the hell is my hover vessel? What the hell? Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Uh, so we multiplayer servers are wonderful. Uh, <laughs> they're wonderful. <laughs> um, they're a pain in the ass, basically, because they do things like this. Just delete stuff for no reason whatsoever. Where the hell has my hover vessel gone? <laughs> I didn't put it back in the thing, did I? And I'm just being an idiot. I didn't just walk straight past it, did I? Yep, it's deleted my hover vessel. Yay, Elion, yay. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. It's not even in the registry anymore. So there's that. That happens. It's brilliant. Love it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so that if that th if I left all the sathium that I mined up in that hover vessel by accident, there goes all the sathium as well. Brilliant. Okay. Um, oh, that's... Do you know what's really, really annoying about that as well? I hadn't blueprinted it. I didn't blueprint it. I was going to. I was going to do that today. And then the freaking games just deleted it. Why? Um, there may be a version of it in EAH somewhere on the server and I might be able to recover it. But uh, this, this thing happens uh, with alarming regularity on multiplayer servers. There just seems to be something, I don't know, some kind of desync issue or whatever. Because we have a dedicated help channel on our discord for the problems people run into the amount of administration that a multiplayer server with this kind of player count requires is insane <laughs> so i just want to say a big thank you to all my moderators and server admins that helped me out uh, with this thing because without you guys it just 
it just wouldn't be really possible. People just wouldn't stick around um, without an active administrators on here uh, countering and battling all of the Elyon police fixes that happen uh, every minute of every hour of every day. And we have just got a prime example of one of those exact issues right now. It's deleted my fucking hover vessel. I'm not upset about it or anything. No, no, no. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Take that, Elyon. Take it. I'm just disappointed. How does that make you feel? Anyway, I'll be right back once I've friggin' found it on EAH and uh, cloned it or something. I'd also like to give um, a big thank you to the guys that made EAH. Um, I think the guys that run the HWS server. Um, they, they, they sort of put that together. I believe, I believe I could be wrong. I, I, I think so. I just want to, whoever made EAH, um, thank you very much. Because it wouldn't be possible, really, realistically, the amount of issues and stuff that we have to deal with, to deal with them without that wonderful little tool um, that we run. Right, so the hover vessel is back. Okay, I need to readjust its paint scheme because part of the cloning process, or what the cloning process does, is revert the um, paint, the color palette back to its default, default color set. So obviously, um, uh, if I configure the preset, set it to default two, which is what it was. There we go. I think that was as, is as simple as that. Set it to preset two. Oh no, hover vessel is back. <laughs> I mean, it's garbage, but it's back. Um, wonderful. Okay, so little alien please fix moment worked around. Uh, once again, thanks to the EAH tool. Marvellous, marvellous thing. And uh, we can continue. What I'm going to do before we do anything more, though, is blueprint this little sucker before it walk wanders off again. You know? <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, oh, my God. How about wanderer? <laughs> wanders off. <laughs> it, it wanders. The wanderer. Uh <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Let's just call it the Wanderer. There we go. Okay, I saved it as a blueprint. So hopefully that can go up on the workshop for those of you that want it. Uh, I will take it. I think I'll take it into creative mode first and tidy it up. You know, it's things like this, you know, where the texture hasn't gone through. I build these things in survival mode. They end up with just really bad texture jobs on them because you can't get through the hitboxes and stuff sometimes. Um, and yeah, I might fix. see if I can fix its left-right thrusters and get a little bit more performance out of it. But... That will be on the workshop soon. I will let you know when. Okay, disaster averted. We have our hover vessel back. And um, hopefully that'll dock. There we go. Nice docked. So screw you, Elyon, and your your bugs. I fixed them myself. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, uh, I've completely and utterly got sidetracked from what we were doing. We were building this, H this SV here, weren't we? This is what we were doing. Um... And we have got to that sort of point with it. Uh, because we want to go and take out these Xerox gums. Right, before we go any further, I want to see if... Um, how our little... No, that's just horrible. How our um, auto miner is doing. Over here. Uh, it's been on there for about 24 hours now. I know it doesn't seem like that. Because we were saying <laughs> like 10 minutes ago I actually placed it. But... Uh, no, it's been, it's been down for about 24 hours, so we want to see how it's doing. And um, I, I'm going to pick it up now before I forget to, because I'm recording this on Sunday. And um, I don't want to forget about it. If I don't pick it up now, it's going to get deleted when these deposits reset. That is all. That's all it's done. Oof. Oof. Kind, of, kind of rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of lame. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. One thing that annoys me about this sort of thing is if you don't have enough room in there, there's nothing I can do with this 231 Promethean right now, apart from drop it on the floor. Um, I guess the ammunition container, maybe? Yes, the ammunition container can take it, and can take the advanced. Okay, good. Oh, it's a bit heavy now. Main thrust. Oh, maybe you can do it. Go on, Mirage. Yes. Lovely. Absolute kick-ass. Okay, so we get that Promethean back to base. Um, I'll get the, th the constructor working back on some fusion cells. And I'm going to continue to try um, pump resources into the factory so we can get our combat SV in. And then we're going to see if we can take on some more Zaraxian scumbaggery. 
Uh, see, we can get. We need to replenish our, our stocks, basically. So you know, the Xeraxians are, are very generous donors in that department. Um, they're a little resistant, but with a bit of convincing at the end of a shotgun, uh, they can give up a lot of their resources for the cause. Well, I did have to go out and do a little bit of mining um, out in the asteroid fields and stuff once again uh, to pick up some of the things that I'm running low on, which actually is just the basics. But all the deposits on the planet are all sat at 10% because it's Sunday when I'm recording this. None of them have got any freaking resources left. Um, but it's fine because obviously we have a warp capable CV. So, and we've already explored a lot of Delta. So I know a lot of the asteroids around here. They're just asteroids are a little bit of pain in the ass to mine because I have to get the hover vessel and fly it around in space, which is slow and and boring and stuff. But after all of that, um, that's a pretty bloody good haul, I think. Really, it's almost eight thousand iron, seven thousand silicon, six and a bit, almost the same, <laughs> almost the same amount of copper, um, and and a bit. I got the, some safium as well because obviously that went walkies. I think when the hover vessel went walkies, um, so I want to put it in the hold this time. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm going to head back. We'll obviously put the furnace to work now and uh, get that refining that into ingots and then I can chuck that into the factory because we're almost there. It's just the iron and copper, really. But while I was out, I thought I'd get the other bits and bobs as well. Xerox oh, are here to invade. Oh, and we've got bombers as well. Oh, no. There's just no chance, is there? <laughs> No, no, Xeraxians. I'm stood on top of the furnace. <laughs> I forgot that was there. I don't think I'm in range. What was my range? 180. Oh, that's going to do some damage. Ow! Bastard! What an absolute bastard! <laughs> managed to get a, they managed to get a bomb off. <laughs> Little cock beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. There we go. Good as new. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Everything's fine. They didn't drop a bomb. Okay, they did. But never mind. Uh, okay. Xeraxian scumbags. Down to with. Uh, my furnace is is off doing furnacey things. It's I can because it's only a 16k box. I can only put 2,000 iron in there at a time. <laughs> so it's gonna take a little while for that to. To melt down. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to sort of potter around the base a little bit. I think not really sure what else to do with myself right now. So there we go. I got to wait for the furnace to do its business. But we are so very very close to getting our SB in. So I will see you guys as soon as it's ready to go. Okay. So I put in an extra container controller because the furnace box being at sixteen thousand was really annoying. So now I've got all the stuff that need the furnace needs to go through in a single box. So I don't have to keep chopping it over from the uh, from the input box here um, now I have enough now I have enough materials to spawn in the SV those uh, so let's go and have a look at this thing I think it's quite big and I'm gonna need to build uh, its own pad for it somewhere um, let's spawn it in see what we got to deal with spawn oh, it is it's majestic as hell though isn't it look at this Far will be pleased. <laughs> Far will be most pleased. Uh, so this, ladies and gentlemen, is my brand spanking new Combat SV as voted for uh, in the Discord channel. Um, I could see why it was voted for. It is, uh, it is an attractive, an attractive beast. There's some very Millennium Falcon-esque kind of qualities to it. Armaments-wise, it looks like it's got twin rocket launchers and four Gats. We are going to need to upgrade this bad boy. Oh yes. This, we are going to need some upgrades. <laughs> this has got the same armaments as the uh, as the Mirage over there. It is much bigger. It's huge by comparison. Uh, it's got some hard points on there for turrets already. So that shouldn't be a problem. I'm having a little bit of a problem right now finding out how the hell I get inside of this thing though. I gotta admit, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit stumped. <laughs> there it is, okay. Nice blending in there. Uh, and then inside, this is a massive space. Oh my god. Uh, I haven't had an SV I could walk around inside for a very long time. Holy crap. This is, um, this is a lot of room in here. 
It's a lot of room. 10,000 pretty much. Container controller. 3,000 ammo controller. O2. Very plush. But then, you know, it is a brotherhood ship. Oh, it doesn't have a shield generator. I'll need to make one. Okay, good. I'll need to make a shield generator. Uh, what's this? Uh, is that CPU 3? Two CPU 3 slots there I need to build CPU for. And um, I assume that's a CPU 4 maybe. Um, G. Generator? I guess. I think a lot of rads are here. They must be right next to the thrusters and stuff. So, I need some upgrades then in that case. And the warp drive goes... Right there. Probably these should be sloped then, shouldn't they? If I'm walking around on here. Night. <laughs> Please fix. <laughs> um, there's another no, there's another ten thousand container and another three thousand there. Okay. Uh, and that must be the other CPU tier four. Holy crap, this thing can go up to tier four. Well, I would hope so, given the size of the damn thing. Right, so actually, before we brew, we take it into combat, then we've got a few little bits and bobs we need to do. First off, I want some turrets on this thing so that it can look after itself when I'm not in it. Um, I do really like the shape and the wing set up at the front here is really cool. Um, poor little beast. Uh, let's see. Did I just clip through that? I literally just clipped through that. There is some there is some lag going on in the server at the moment. I'm stuck. I am genuinely stuck. Oh my god, what is going on? What is going on today? There we go. Win. God mode for the win. Okay. Let's get some uh, bits and bobs set up and manufacturing for it then. We need um set you to the blocks and devices box for an SV. We need oh Oh dear. Uh oh. This is not good. <laughs> what, what am I short on? How can I be short on anything right now? Gold, maybe, is what I'm short on. Why can't you make eight optronic bridges? Why? Why? Um, okay. That's not good. Well, let's at least get a light shield generator, shall we? Um, that will at least give us a little bit of protection. Uh, while we run some missions and stuff. If its CPU at the moment is maxed out and it can't do anything until I get an extender installed. Crap. Um, let's see. How much is... Large advanced focusing lens. These are all... Oh my god. See this stuff. That's... <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so smaller tropical bridges. They take five gold ingots each. If I need eight of them. And I've only got 29 gold ingots. Well, damn. <laughs> well damn there are two gold deposits on this they are both going to be mined out though I need to find some gold then I need to find some gold that is that is the mish so are there, is there any gold in this system I suspect not I suspect not I suspect the uh, any gold asteroids we're going to have to leave this our current solar system and go out there to find gold in order to build ourselves some more bridges and matrices. Uh, but where do we go? Where do we go? Okay. I don't know how I'm being this, but there we go. Uh, where is gold found? Where is gold found? I don't know. There is the Imperiumpedia, which may be able to help us. Um, the galaxy. Star classes. Resources. Basic ores. Common ores. Rare ores. Advanced ores. Gold. Planets and moons, rare on lava planets, space, rare in hot or cold star systems. Okay, that's helpful. Because now if we have a look at the star classes, which ones are hot and cold? Well, you got standard, cold is M and D, and hot is O, B, K, and M1, M1A. So if we focus our search on, say, um, D or M, just for the cold ones... We might be have a better chance of finding gold asteroids. So, say, well, Epsilon, I don't want to go there because that's the starter system. Oh, well, there is not a lot. There's there's an M there. Lyoth, Swath, Alpha. We, we can maybe have a look over there. It's a little jump away. And that might have some gold on it. <laughs> Let's have a quick look before we commit to this endeavor. Bill is still in his corner. Um, how much CPU actually do we need? What is the current situation on this thing? 
Okay, it's 25,000 and it's at 22,000 of that 25. If I can get... If I can get one of the tier threes, I think I might be able to get it into a state where we can use the shield at least. Um, let's put that on and see what it does. So, the shield. Slot that in to the shield slot. So that takes us up to just under. That's actually pretty good. So, I, I only need then one tier 3 extender and I should be able to put some turrets on this thing so it can look after itself. I will not be able to increase its weaponry though. And I still need small groups. Eight small bridges. I still need... <laughs> ah. <laughs> this is such a, such a dilemma. Okay. Well, bugger. What are we going to do? Well, there's two options. We can either go looking for gold in the CV and go and mine some. Or we can try and loot some. But I was going to use this ship right now as the means to loot the Zuraxians over here. Because I think they're pretty like, pretty well sort of established over here. However, we may have to just see what we can, um, what we can still get out of the Mirage here. Uh, with its twin Gats and twin rocket launchers. Yeah. <laughs> the other option is, of course, I take the... Um, I take the CPU extenders out of this. It seems a bit harsh. It seems a bit harsh, doesn't it? <laughs> I can take the say, CPU extender out of that, put it in there and, and use that one. Um, but let's see. I just need to get some ammo for this thing. Let's see what we can uh, what we can accomplish with the Mirage still. And then uh, we will upgrade. Because I want to get I want to get this new fire interceptor. I want to get it up and running with like some serious firepower. Some serious firepower. The problem with the Mirage is it's kind of like there isn't enough real room on it to do that. Well, with the Far Interceptor, there there is there is plenty of room. So we need some unguided missile launchers. So let's get a bunch of those. Um, I think we've already got a bunch of Gats anyway. I've got a bunch of ammo on my myself, including the whole new Starhawk pistol, which you guys wanted me to check out. So we're going to definitely have a little go on this thing. Sounds like a sniper rifle. Sounds pretty badass. Oh, and there's always this as well. Which is the kind of the uh, the get out of trouble card, really, isn't it? <laughs> it is the uh, don't mess with me button. I've got a freaking plasma cannon. So, I'm going to make myself a little bit more ammo. Make the Mirage a bit more rocket ammo. Um, and then we're going to go swing by these Xeraxian scumbags over here and see what we can do. Well, it might look a little bit silly, but it's pretty effective, actually. Place the uh, the barrage here on the nose <laughs> of uh, the X3. It actually fits quite nicely. <laughs> Even the paint schemes kind of match a bit. Anyway, we are on our way to this long-range radar base, and all of the little uh, Xeraxians, you just saw them sort of pop up there. There is little Xeraxians dotted around. I'm going to have to be very careful here, because... Obviously, the Mirage has got the light shield generator in it. It's only got two rockets and stuff. The other option is, of course, uh, I can tank things on the CV shields here um, and, and use the X3, and it's four GATs. But I suspect that's going to probably uh, just... Well, it's going to take forever. <laughs> it's just going to take forever to do anything, really. We're going to see what we can get out of the Mirage here. Uh, the sun is just rising on this side of the planet, which is perfect. Excellent. All these deposits guarded by these Xerax. Every other deposit on this planet is like 10% apart from these ones. Uh, somebody's brave. They uh, parked themselves just outside Xerax uh, territory there. Very brave. Um, the other problem with this area is... Oh my god, there are two radar stations here. So this is the long range radar, which I think is the top of the radar base. And it's just the top of it. Uh, I'm just waiting for the ground to catch up, but actually I think that is it. Uh, that is it there. So I don't think there's anything there. We've got a fortification, advanced spaceport. That is... That's the big boy, isn't it? That is the radar station. Yeah. That's the that's the big boy. And that's actually armed now as well. Holy crap. And we've got a control... Another advanced outpost, a resistor, and a control station. Well, the control station... What the fudge monkey was that? 
That wasn't just me, was it? That was a big ball of green crap just flying at me then. Holy cow. Alright, so I think this is probably a good place to need to start our little campaign here against the Zalaxian scums. Look at that, we've parked perfectly on a rock. <laughs> Oop, hello. Uh, maybe not so perfectly. Okay. So the loot capacity of this thing is going to come in useful, I think, here. Yeah, anyway, let's see what we can do. I think... Nope, we are in range of the resistor there. Okay. This will have to do here, then. Park it here. The rest is off. We're going to go into this control station. I don't think this one's particularly big, scary, or what. Um, oh, I do need to change my armor, actually. Because I'm wearing EVA boosts. Armor boost time, baby. Right, I have to be careful because we're in Xerox territory and there could be a lot of ground troops everywhere at, at, at any point. So let's see if we can find a way in without getting shot by that resistor over there. I thought there'd be a door down here. There's a vent. I think that's a way in, though. There's a door. There's a door. Sentry guns. That's a door. So we'll go up. There's actually any Xerax in here. Teleporter here. Yeah. Oh, damn. I wouldn't have been able to use it anyway, would I? <laughs> I was just like, oh, I could have used that. No, probably not. There is a Xerax here. The flamethrower. They explode now. <laughs> the flamethrowers explode now. Okay, so there's a there's nothing but uh, a bit of salvage. A bit of salvage up here. No no like serious loot containers or anything. Um uh, yeah, shame. Shame. But okay, I will deal. I mean we're still gonna get the salvage. At the end of the day. Double check, not missing anything. Nice, easy little tower. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm going to take this apart, and then we'll move on to the next one. Well, with the control station demolished, um, nice tower like that. Very easy to just take it down nice and quick. Let's see if we can core this resistor. Nice and... Ooh, that's the big... That's the big green balls of doom! My shields are going. My shields are going. Back the hell off. Back the hell off. Oh! Shields down! Not good. Big green balls of balls. I think we got away with it, though. Somehow. I'm not seeing a massive hole in the side of the Mirage. Don't like that. Don't like that big ball, green ball, green, big green ball, ball thing. That's nasty. Hold up. Where did that big ball of green snot actually go? Oops. Did it actually hit anything? I'm holding down repair right now. Everything seems to be okay. Alright, I just need to wait for the shields to come back up then. On that Epsilon resistor, um, I'm going to just take the core out in the middle. And then we're going to go for whatever that is. Over there. Man. Big, big green balls of balls balls. Here we go then. Round two on the resistor. It's more than what I'm shooting at is shooting at me right now. Okay. Get out of here! This is going badly! <laughs> the problem is that advanced outpost is just like really hammering it. And plus that resistor has a blast door makes it slightly difficult to get through <laughs> um damn 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 i may need to rethink this a bit uh, but it ain't gonna happen anytime soon and so on that note it's time to end today's episode 
The Xerax have, uh, have pushed me back for now, but I will be back. I will be back, and I will take their loot and their stuff. Do not fear, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Hopefully. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.